Welcome to this introduction to navigating the CSIA Sales Knowledge Mine, documentation of the work that's been done by the CSIA Sales Excellence Council that kicked off its efforts in October of 2008. Before you sign in for the first time, you'll need to register by clicking here, following the prompts, uh, setting up your own user ID and password, whatever you'd like that to be, uh, and you'll receive a confirmation back via email. With that, you can sign in as you would on any other secure website and be taken to the home page. A few things to notice right away in the upper right hand corner is a search function. Uh, works just like Google or, or any other typical search function. You can search the entire site or restrict your search to specific pages depending on what it is that you're looking for. If you've been set up with edit capability, and right now that's restricted to members of the Sales Excellence Council. You can click on the Edit button to make changes and additions uh, to the current page that's displayed. Uh, the Print button is for the obvious purpose, and the Eyeball is a Watch or Monitor button. If I were to click that, which I just did, uh, you'll see there's an X through it, which means now that I am monitoring all the changes to this particular page. And if I go over to My Watches, which is listed under the My Ticky menu, first of all, you can see by clicking the little folder, you can open and close uh, the submenus that are over here on the left. I'll take a look at My Watches, which is a list of all the pages that I currently have set up. Uh, to monitor changes. So I could click on one of these and go in to see the latest changes that have been made to that particular page. Back on the home page, also want to point out structures. Structures is a different name for table of contents and right now there are two tables of contents set up. Uh, the first MSP, Methodical Sales Process, that's the main one that you'll use most often. Uh, it's the official approved current version of that page and also MSP staged. Staged meaning there are pending changes that haven't been fully approved by the SEC to be added into the into the main contents. You can also you can get to these structures either by going here and clicking on on the appropriate one that'll bring up a sub menu back a page up a page forward a page uh, or, or to the home page of the table of contents itself. To make it simple, you can also click on this link, MSP, to get to the MSP table of contents or MSP stage. Uh, I'll click on the little house, <clears throat> which is going to take me to the main table of contents for the knowledge mine. Uh, won't go through all of these pages, just a, just a few of them to give you a quick feel. I'll click on Methodical Sales Process. That's an overview of the sales process as defined so far by the Sales Excellence Council. You can read about it here. There's a short video as well. Uh, I'll go back to the table of contents once, once more and look at one of the detail pages. I'll just choose Identify Opportunities. Uh, that's the very beginning of the sales funnel, again as the SEC has defined it. And There's a couple of things you'll notice. First of all, all the, ma the main standard navigation uh, buttons and icons are still visible. There's a page owner for each page. Uh, we've assigned a member of the Sales Excellence Council just to watch some number of pages for uh, fixing spelling errors and formatting and, and putting things in a, in a logical sequence so the organization is, is a little bit better. There are four main sections to each of these pages. <clears throat> the first is completion criteria, so this describes what has to happen for me to complete this stage then metrics divided into core metrics and additional ones. This doesn't happen to have any additional metrics. But these are the standards of performance that I would expect uh, based, on, based on these completion criteria. The third section is best practices, things that I can do to reach those completion criteria. Uh, and then finally at the bottom, tools. These are tools that I can use to help me execute the best practices to reach the completion criteria to the standard of performance that I've set. And again, that's the basic structure of all the detail pages in the wiki portion of the sales knowledge mine, which again is that that's the main uh, source of the content. One more item to point out here, I mentioned a little bit earlier that only the Sales Excellence Council can change the actual content of the pages. 
uh, at the bottom of every page so that we can get input from everyone who's registered, everyone in CSIA using this tool can post comments. So if you have a comment about the content or a comment that says, hey, here is an additional best practice that we use that ought to be uh, put into the main part of the knowledge mine, you can do that by posting a comment uh, and those things will be monitored <coughs> by, by the page owner. So that's a quick overview of the, the wiki portion, uh, again, of the sales knowledge mine. A couple other things that are out there. We have not really begun to use the forums yet, but we have that capability. Right now there are two. We could have any number of these forums at, uh, at a request of a CSIA member. But a, a discussion forum, bulletin board for implementing sales process engineering. If you have a question, go ahead and post it there. And this is another section for use by the Sales Excellence Council. The directory is merely a, a listing of names, phone numbers, web addresses of the SEC members. File galleries is quite a useful section. Uh, I'll click on that and you'll see that there's a number of file galleries already defined. I'll just go into sales tools to look at a little more detail. In effect, it's, it's what file galleries implies. Uh, for example, here is a a PowerPoint, or I'm sorry, a PDF of an overview of the President's model. One of the tools that's in there, here's a spreadsheet to score the quality of relationship with an individual contact you have at a, at a company. Just by clicking on that, you can download that file and have that for usage. There's a frequently asked questions section uh, for questions, and as, as the usage of this tool begins to crank up, obviously we'll use that more and more. Uh, in any case, hopefully that gives you a quick overview of how to navigate the sales knowledge mine. And if there's additional questions, use that comment function uh, and we'll, we'll address it. Thanks and good luck and hope good selling using the knowledge mine.